Hello, my friend. To how's it? How's it? So today I'll be showing you this Sun L Music inspired track that I've worked on and still working on. <laughs> Okay guys, as you can hear the beat, it's dope because it was made by me, so obviously, it's <laughs> Anyways guys, this is a type of track which has and has to have a vocalist. It's so for me, for me, for me and how I thought, how I was going about it, it was like, okay, this is a slow tempo type of beat, very slow, which was inspired mainly by it broken introspection which i usually do at this time but i decided not to break the kick this time so it became sort of a sun l beat and then had the elements which were mine but then again we'll shot and get the vocalist is got sun l yeah so so yeah so only obviously i'll have to check out the top vocalist for this one and then they'll have to take it over the top but let's check it out you know how i do these things Work simple, work dope. First of all, here's the drums, which include the piano. Buzz. You can you can listen. There's just the kick and the piano. So this piano is FL keys. FL keys guys, the FL keys is the one that you know so that you don't like we have matrix or we mix stuff that's impossible. So this is the progression of the keys. So the trick um, goes from Uchi to Ui. That's the progression of the whole song. So going ahead, I added the harmonics by adding like more of the keys to make some type of chords. That's how it ended up here. Simple. And then we move on. Going on. That's the like the intro part. Going on. I've played most of the intro. There. So that's this is how the intro goes. Simple. And then we move on to the next one. Now we have a pad. The pad is a bit more complicated because you are now in the inversions of records. But this is how it goes. Yeah, that's the pad. The, the name of the chords, I don't know, but Lena it sounds like minor major chord, I don't know, minor chord, I don't know, seven chord, I don't know, ninth chord, twentieth chord, I don't know the names of chords. I just put on something there, or I play it here. Once it sounds dope, I map it out on the piano roll. Sounds good to me, I'm good to go. I don't know music theory. Next, we move on. This sound, you already know it. It's the, it's the pair that I always use, which I've been using since I started producing with 20. 16 or something ever since i used this pad i'm still using it now still works fine for me i use it in different ways that's why i get to kill it most of my tracks don't sound boring don't sound the same because i use it like differently each and every time yeah and that's like the, the second part and then we move on to the thingy thing the bass which follows like the same progression also So, so we bass line this time. I sound like a number local with Tile. It's a bit choopy, but in a lot delay effect, in a lot reverb, which I like a lot. I think without the delay, the reverb just sound plain. Like it that way, anyways. Then we move on, King Ugu, 
after what else this who should consider like my main melody for the whole song yes so this part you know is also next us digital xylophone from the plugs plugged now with everything this is how this this thing sounds at this point yeah now with the melody and the keys you can see it sounds much better yes that's that that's that that's that and then again with this section is the one that i play which has the claps, the heads, the everything. And then we move on to more sounds. After that section, I get into another section, which is a bit of emptiness for the vocalist. Since I said I was making this track for a specific vocalist to like do most of the work. Yeah, well. So I enter this empty space after that part, which I'd consider a chorus. So it's in a, what comes after a chorus? Second verse? It's in a second verse, which is more empty but can go in a solo and I'm a second verse which is this bell here yes. so also this thing I played it here and then it started making sense, quantize, and map everything out here. So everything here was just a solo. So when the solo comes in, this is what happens, yeah. As you can hear, most of the, the drums are not there anymore. It's just the solo. Yes, simple. Then we move on to the next main melody, which is... So I kind of wanted to keep it a bit African-ish. Okay, this is um, Marimba from Expand. Since you guys said I don't show plugins. Guys, people think I have secrets. <clears throat> this is Marimba. Basically, this is the same progression, but it's over two times that's why i have that strum effect because there's this and then this is the same progression as that but on an upper octave and then these ones are a bit strummed in yana i've shifted them a bit backwards so they don't sound at the exact same time that's why i'm la which makes a dope effect cool tip take it so again okay. After that, I introduced that. As you can see, it's automated, yeah, so it just slowly grows in. Then, next section has the pad. Percussion appointment. Simple pad just after the second chorus, exactly on the second chorus. Anyway, so this pad is epic pad from Hamless also. Been using this one for years also, still works fine. Second chorus. And then we move on again after the second chorus. We have a bridge king walk. Then you know, after the bridge, I kind of like add his drums nyana again for his simplicity this time. If 
to check clearly here, you can see the automation slowly dies out and goes back to zero for the melody, which goes clong, 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 clong. I'm killing it. After I kill the melody, I go towards the out Troyam, which has everything just like the chorus and stuff. But this time it doesn't have the pad. It doesn't have the melody. Yeah, well. And then from there, I don't know what else. I think I'm done from there. Everything is simple, is, is done. Most. Just can go I kill everything just because I'm ending the track at this point. <laughs> I-I don't know if there's anything else for me to say. But okay. Thanks guys. <laughs>